are here live at the pitch. This is the brand new soccer themed restaurant and bar. I want to give you a look around. We are inside Union Station. You can see TVs on pretty much every inch of the wall. This is going to be a popular spot to watch games. There are a lot of new things popping up around this stadium. But what's not new is the fan support for soccer in St. Louis. And St. Louisans have been behind that for more than a decade. We've got a little bit of their story right here. Drum banging, scarf wearing, noise making, the signs of a St. Louis soccer supporter. The St. Louisans have supported soccer in St. Louis for more than a decade, dating back to AC St. Louis. Now they're preparing for the biggest match, the home opener of St. Louis's first ever MLS team. 13 years to get to this point. There's no clear count on just how many Luligans there are in St. Louis, but all are welcome to join. But it really is like a family. We don't care who you are, where you come from. If you're there to show up, have fun, make noise, support the local team, you're one of us. We got a preview of what to expect at the International Friendly last fall. The march into the stadium, packing the stands, and the chants. Whatever section you're in in the stadium, you can be a Lugan, learn the chants, get people singing with you. So how do you learn the chants? Fleur de Noise, the fan group, and drum corps is the heartbeat of the supporter section. Sharing the words online to prep everyone for the home opener. And the team will tell you, the noise makes a big difference. We were in Austin last Saturday, out chanting Austin supporters. And the players came to me afterwards and just said how much they appreciated it and how much it just let them dig even deeper. The team really took into consideration that massive support from fans. The supporter section, which is the north side of the stadium, is actually built at one of the steepest grades allowed in uh, professional sports. That gives a good vantage point of the pitch. It also elevates that noise level, which will be pretty incredible inside that stadium come Saturday. Reporting live from the pitch, Alexis Zotos, News 4.